What's up everybody, Greg here with Lens Portigo and Lens Rentals, and in this video, we're gonna be shooting in anamorphic, specifically with the Atlas Orion anamorphic lenses. Right now I'm shooting on the 65 millimeter, but in this video, we're gonna be testing out the 40 millimeter. Now we're shooting on the red weapon with the 8K helium sensor, and it's gonna be pretty awesome, so let's get into it. So the first test we're looking at is breathing, and we're gonna be racking focus from close focus to infinity. Now there's not as much breathing with the 40 millimeter as you saw with the 65 millimeter lens. Again, you're looking for zooming in and out on the edges, almost like breathing, like inhaling and exhaling of the lens as you rack focus. And there is a little bit of movement, but it's pretty well controlled with this 40 millimeter lens. Next up, we're gonna take a look at the bokeh. And for this, we're gonna go through the aperture range from a T2 all the way down to a T16. And you can also see that we have some lights in the foreground as well as in the background, just to see both of that type of bokeh. Now we're getting some really good oval shaped bokeh at around a 2.8 to a 4. If we open up wider than that, then we start to see some points and a little bit of distortion in the oval shape. And we also get a little bit of softening of the image overall. So I would suggest to keep it between a 2.8 and a 4 to get that really nice looking bokeh. Next up is edge distortion and sharpness. And we're shooting at a T2.8 with the T2. It's a little bit soft overall on the image. So I decided to stop down a little bit. And we're just gonna pan from side to side to see how it starts to distort on the edges. But even with this 40 millimeter lens, which is a 20 millimeter on the width, we don't have really any distortion, which is pretty awesome. And we're also keeping sharpness through the entire frame, which is really nice to see. Then we'll take a look at flaring, which I know you really want to see. So starting with a light that's a little bit dimmer, and then I'm going to go and brighten it up here for you in a second. And you can see those streaks get even more pronounced. We're getting a ton of circular flares in there, along with the streaking that's coming across the frame. And now just going around the outside of the frame a little bit so you can see how it looks. And we're getting a really cool sci-fi, very J.J. Abrams type of flare. And then just back to the center and then coming towards us and then we'll go over and look at the flaring going through the aperture range so we started wide open at a t2 and now we're just slowly stopping down as we go through it so you can see how it sort of changed the flare now you keep that blue streak pretty much throughout the whole aperture range but it does start to kill some of that circular flare which makes sense because the aperture hole is getting smaller and then the last thing that we're going to look at is close focus. So we've racked the 40 millimeter to as close as you can get, which is two feet on this lens. And then I've just moved back and forth so you can see how sharp it is and how close you can get with this. You can get a little bit tighter than you can with the 65 millimeter, but you still get that really nice width of a 20 millimeter because it is a 2X anamorphic. So that's gonna wrap it up for the lens test of the 40 millimeter Atlas Orion 2X anamorphic. I hope you guys liked the test. If you wanna try this lens out for yourself, there's gonna be links in the description below. If you have any questions about the lens, make sure to leave those in the comments. If you wanna see more footage that was shot with the Atlas Orion anamorphic lenses, there's another video that I did at the end of this one, so check that out as well. And if you like these lens tests, make sure to hit like, subscribe for new videos every single week, and I'll see you in the next one.